Are you looking at installing different operating systems and run them simultaneously on one computer? This is where VMware Workstation Pro 17 comes into play and in the next 10 minutes you will have it installed and running your first virtual machine completely free. This is pure code tech, let's get started. VMware Workstation Pro 17 creates virtual computers inside your existing computer. Each virtual machine runs a complete operating system with its own allocated resources. This means you can run Windows, Linux, and other systems simultaneously without rebooting or buying additional hardware. This technology is essential for developers who need to test applications across different platforms, security professionals who require isolated testing environments, and anyone learning new operating systems without basic stuff. Virtual machines are completely isolated, so if something breaks inside the virtual machine, your host remains unaffected. The key advantage of VMware Workstation Pro over free alternatives like VirtualBox is performance. VMware delivers approximately 40% better execution speed and includes professional features like advanced snapshot, management, and seamless application integration. Before installation, verify your system meets these requirements. You need a minimum of 8 GB RAM, though 16 provides much better performance for multiple virtual machines. Your processor must support hardware virtualization, which is VTX for Intel or MDV for AMD processors. Check your BIOS settings to ensure, to ensure virtualization is enabled. You will also need at least 100 GB free disk space for meaningful experimentation. If you are running Windows Pro, disable Hyper-V in Windows features before proceeding as it conflicts with VMware at the kernel level. So, VMware Workstation Pro is now available for free uh, for personal use at Broadcom. So let us open our browsers and get to the site where we can download it from. So I'll open my new tab and I type Broadcom. Broadcom. So I'll click on it. And uh, it will bring me to this page where I will be seeing this very first link. So I'll click on that very first link and it will direct me to this page. So when you reach this page, you can come over here on support portal and then click on it. Then you choose to register if you don't have an account. So I'll choose to register. So you, you can allow cookies. So you'll be required to type in your email address. So I'll just type mine, BBC Mensa. Then you also enter the capture given below, which is MHEA, and click next. So you check your Gmail. Uh, Then I'll get this code and uh, I copy it and I paste it back to this. Then I'll click verify and continue. Then you will be required to uh, enter your full names and uh, other details. So I'll do them very fast. So I'll type. Uh, just type this very fast. Then you can also, can also select your country. So I'll select mine, which is Uganda. You can select any job title. So you will be required to enter your password. So I'll type in. So it will be accepted and then click on create account. So I'll save it, but you can always choose to not save it if you don't feel secure. So I'll click yes. I'll do this later. So you'll be required also to enter additional details, but for the purpose of this video, we'll just do it that, that later. 
so then you'll be brought to this page and then uh, you'll be required to log in to access the software so i'll click on login i'll close this and i click on login with my details so since i saved mine i'll just click on them here as you're seeing i saved them so i'll just be required here to type my pin then click next so you can type in your password again so i just click sign in so when you're brought here at this page you can choose to close this so you just come to my downloads So as you're seeing here, the software is listed here. So we'll just come here and look for VMware, VMware Workstation Pro, as you're seeing it here. So we'll choose that. Then you will be brought to this page where you'll be seeing for different operating systems as you're seeing here for Windows, and then you have one for Linux. But I'll, I'll choose the one for Windows since I'm using a Windows machine. So when you click on this, you'll be shown different versions. As you're seeing here, we have the latest version, other versions. So you can choose to install any version you're comfortable with. But I'm, uh, for my case, I'll choose the latest one. So you will be brought to this page uh, where you will be seeing this download uh, uh, setup. So you can't right now click on download setup. You will have to first agree with their terms and license. So I will click on it here. Then I will just go back here and I check this. So when you check this, you, you now you will be able to, down, to, to access this download button. So I will be able to click on it. When you click on download, it also asks, asks you for additional verification so i click on yes so it will require you to fill another form which is already filled so just make sure you fill those important fields which are not filled so for my case i'll just fill in the few the rest are covered so i just click on And a few so I'll, I'll submit them make sure i fill all of them such that you can proceed so i can click yes so we'll be brought back to the download page so as you're seeing here you come back and click again on this download so this time around when you click on download will show you the download of the setup which is 405 MBs. So I'll click on start download. So it, it will download just in a few minutes depending on your internet connection speed. So we'll just give it some few minutes. As it installs, so our download has been completed. So I'll go to the file manager and my download I'll come to my PC and click on downloads and then select programs then you will be seeing it under programs then I'll right click on it to run it as the admin so I'll run it as an so here it will bring this setup wizard where I'll click next so you will also have to accept the terms in the license agreement. I'll check this box. You can read through. So I'll click next. Then it will also ask you for the path where it will be installing our VMware workstation. So I'll leave it at default. So depending on your settings, you can change it. Then here, the user experience setting will also leave them as default. 
then also for creating a desktop shortcut we will leave it at default and a start menu program folder so i'll click on install to install my setup So I'll click on finish to complete the setup. So after the installation, we will open our VMware and have a look of the software. So I'll double click on it to open. So this is the interface of, of our newly installed VMware. And as you see, so when you check on it, uh, about VMware, we can see we are having a full product without any license issues as you are seeing here. We are running VMware Workstation Pro 17, the latest version, and this is uh, the type of uh, information for our disk. So, as you are seeing, this is my host name and the specified RAM. So, video I'll be showing you how to install our ISO files for different operating system and how to set them and configure them to run smoothly in our virtual environment. So thank you so much. See you in the next one.